Hi guys, hope you're well. I'm gonna show you how to make the quickest, most delicious tartar tan recipe, celebrating the beauty of seasonal fruit. And today, we're gonna to do the most amazing pims and strawberry tartar tan. It's so good, so easy, and so impressive. So first up, let's get our pan on the hob. We're gonna put it onto a medium high heat. We're gonna put 100 grams of golden caster sugar. We've got an opportunity now to sort of scent this caramel that we're gonna make. I'm gonna use a little vanilla pod here. Just lay that down on the board, use a tip of a small knife, go into the middle and just gently rattle the tip of the knife all the way down the length and then use the side of the knife simply to scratch out the little tiny black seeds. Now, if that feels like too much effort, then you can always get vanilla extract, okay? So we're gonna put the pod and the lovely black seeds into the sugar. And then normally you'd add water, okay, to make your caramel. We're gonna use about 70 milliliters of PIMS. For me, PIMS and strawberries, they're like best friends. We're gonna use about 600 grams of strawberries. If you use the small ones, they're lovely, but they seem to kind of cook down a lot more. The big ones hold their shape. Just simply remove the little stalky bits from the end. And what's gonna to happen to this here is it's gonna turn into the most amazing PIMS and vanilla caramel. Come on, this is exciting. Now the cheat ingredient that I buy is pre-made all butter puff pastry. And let me show you what it looks like. Nowadays, they even roll it out for you, so they've done all the hard work. So you take it out of the box, that's what you've got. So just shake your caramel, then go in with your strawberries. I don't even toss them, right? Go in with the whole strawberries, like that. And then take off your pastry from the paper and very confidently just lay it over the pan do not touch the caramel, it's very, very hot. If you want, use a little spatula and just push in that pastry right into the sides to kind of hug the strawberries and it will give you the most amazing caramelly crust and it will be truly amazing. So, this now goes into the oven for 25 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. Now the genius thing about this pan that I'm using, this is one of my T-Fail pans called Ingenio, right? And it's all about convenience, stackability. It looks great, it's got the great non-stick, but the brilliant thing about this is you can take it from the hob to the oven, you click a button, the handle comes off, right? And you can serve things at the table. You know, if you've got leftovers, you can put it in the fridge. They come with a whole set of different sort of lids and sizes of pans. They're super convenient for anyone that doesn't want loads of clutter, that likes to have great pans in a small space. We'll let that cook for 25 minutes and then I'll show you how beautiful it turns out. And literally, we are gonna turn it out. So the tartar tan has had exactly 25 minutes. It smells absolutely incredible. I'm gonna put my handle back on, take it out. Come on, look at that. Beautiful, golden and gorgeous. Now, different fruit has different amounts of liquid. So if you feel there's quite a bit of liquid there, you can just get a little bowl and we'll just pour some of that juice into our bowl. Look at the color, the smell is absolutely amazing. Then we need to flip it. So to do that, to be safe, we put a little cloth over our hand like that. Get yourself a nice big round plate and we're just gonna very confidently flip it. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Beautiful. Made all the easier by my lovely pan. But what we've got here, which is lovely, is the little crispy bits of pastry at the edge. Caramelized and caught. The strawberries have just cooked into the pastry and the smell, the smell of that sauce is amazing. So if I just grab a little spoon, I can take this sauce that we took off, put it back on top. Come on, look at that. And then the thing I love to do with this, is just get a nice spoon of vanilla ice cream. The hot and the cold is a thing of joy. Come on, guys. It's a tartar tan, but a little bit different. Let's get a nice little wedge in there. Time for the try. Hot, cold. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So tasty. So there you go, guys. There once was a portion of strawberry and pims tartar tan, no longer. It's delicious, so what are you waiting for? Go on, make yourself some strawberry tartar tan, made by me, with a little bit of help from T-Fowl. Take care.